Hey Pisces, how are you guys doing? Thank you for tuning in. This is going to resonate for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement. Please keep an open mind as these are general tarot readings. Okay, feel free to swap whatever is being said here, all right? What is coming to Pisces in love? Pisces, what do we have? So you have a judgment, a judgment call, <clears throat> page of coins, queen of cups, king of wands, could be a cancer we have leo we have scorpio two of swords and the tower whoa expect the unexpected pisces is what i will say okay because someone's definitely going to come out of the blue out of the woodwork and uh talk to you here i feel like it's going to be a phone call or they could make a visit <laughs> okay um, but they want to know what's good. That's what they want to know. You probably wrote this person off already, Pisces, to be quite honest with you. Um, this person could live at a distance, but you have two unexpected cards. You have the tower and the eight of wands. So this obviously, you know, shows that this is going to be something completely unexpected, um, for you. Let me just charge, uh, put my camera on the charger. That way we don't get disconnected here. We don't want that, right? While we're getting while we're getting the tea. <laughs> All right. So, what is judgment? I feel like uh Pisces, this is someone that you know, you do appear to have some type of love for, Queen of Cups. You feel some kind of way about them. They feel some kind of way about you. But um it kind of comes up a little superficial for now, okay? Um I feel like there's, I keep hearing something about you not wanting to get caught up with this person again, um, because you already felt defeated with this person, okay? Maybe you got into an argument, or you guys would have a lot of communication problems, or they were just a jerk, okay? Um, you know, you just, you, you wrote this person off, and I feel like you don't want to repeat the same cycle with them, because to be honest, you probably would repeat the same cycle with them, okay? Okay. Um, Whatever they did in the past, they probably end up doing it again and again and again, okay? Um, Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands, and Eight of Wands. So this person's coming towards you all lovey-dovey, all romantic. You know, they got their armor on and everything ready for you here, Pisces. You know, Cupid must have got to them. But, you know, it's coming up like this could be like a lover boy or a lover girl, somebody who's just like in love with love or the idea of it. So not necessarily... Um, someone who would be like stable, okay, with you, especially within their emotions. Like, okay, you feel like you want to be romantic today. Okay, what do you want? And the next thing you know, for some of you, maybe they push you away. So it's like not something that you want to repeat, okay? But they will talk. You have the option of responding, obviously. Um, tell me more, King of Wands. I mean, that doesn't stop this person, obviously, from being attracted to you and things like that. And I feel like you guys connected for the most part. Um, you guys definitely did have, like, a connection with each other. Um, but it seems like that's about all you got from them. Okay. This person definitely broke your heart before. Um, it didn't work out in the past with them. So now you're like, oh, it's not going to work out now, right? If it didn't work out before, why the freak do you think it's going to work out now? It's kind of what, you know, you're leaning towards here. And they probably obviously did break your heart. Um, it's something that you're not very positive about, okay? The tower. Especially, if, you know, it, you know they put a lot of swords in your back for some of you, okay? So now I feel like the main question you're asking yourself when this person reaches out is, what do you want from me? Why are you back? Okay. So this could be a test too for some of you, I'm hearing, just to see if you're going to allow this person to do the same thing that they did before. Now, for those of you, if this is a brand new person, you know, it's slightly different. I feel like the um, the connection is a bit like superficial for now because, you know, the Queen of Cups is a really dreamy. It's not necessarily like, like a stable, concrete emotion. So um, I feel like this, you know, it's showing up as more like the beginning stages, obviously, and you're still filling them out. They're still filling you out. Okay. Um, there's no major decisions or anything being made just yet, but they will be pursuing you, Pisces. Do they have a bad intention? No, they don't. Okay. 
but I would say get to know them further before you invest, okay? What else for Pisces in this situation? What is coming? You have the High Priestess. You have the Strength card, Leo. Justice, Libra. Yeah, I feel like you, you wrote this person off. That's what you did for a lot of you. Um, you've already made your mind up to move forward from them. And, you know, not to get caught up in their web again. You know, and it's going to take a lot of inner strength and courage and, you know, um, control to to not uh, respond to them. Um, but, yeah, the energy of you knowing what they're all about is definitely there. Okay. So, it's possible you could leave them on bread. <laughs> um, Pisces, or you're just definitely going to have to think about it. Okay, but you would want to see them walk their talk, okay? <clears throat> because someone could come up and, hey, Pisces, I love you, I miss you, and all these things, but what are you going to do about that, you know? What are we going to do with that feeling here? Um, and that's what justice is about. I feel like justice is telling you to obviously have some discernment um, and not necessarily to give it all away until this person walks their talk, Okay? Um, <clears throat> and I feel like Pisces, you really have no problem leaving this person behind if they're just not saying anything different. Okay. That's the truth. And for those of you already in relationships, I mean, this person could try to reach out all they want, but you're not interested. Okay. All right. So... So Pisces, you have intimacy... Okay, so they feel a lot of sexual chemistry with you, obviously. Okay, uh, you have vacation. So I'm hearing this person could even invite you on a trip with them or, um, you know, let's let's do this together. Let's do that together. But um, I feel like the main thing in your mind is, <clears throat> do you want a relationship with me? Do you want a commitment with me? Because I feel like this is something you can have fun with and all types of stuff. But what, what else do you want? Okay, the King of Wands is often on a conquest. He's often you know, still kind of playing the field a little bit, okay? Especially if this is an ex um, and they weren't committal in the past or whatever it was, you know, allow them to prove themselves. Some of you can feel like this freak is a narcissist, okay? You have distance. There could be some uh, physical distance here, obviously. Um, long distance. You have sexuality. Someone is still figuring themselves out. So again, you know, you have all this, 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 these cards of like still figuring it out, uh, and things like that. So make sure that you listen to your intuition as well. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later. This could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Okay. All right. What else do we have for Pisces in this situation? Any other clues? This person's very attracted to you. Okay. Discovery period. Once again, discovery period. Um, and don't get me wrong, Pisces, for some of you, it could be that you're not necessarily looking for anything serious, you know, um, and you just kind of just want to keep things light and, and, and casual. Well, that's totally fine, but just make sure that, you know, obviously you're honest about that because this person may be falling for you and things like that. You know, that expectation definitely needs to be set. Um, you guys definitely need to talk about what you guys really want. Okay. They have flirty energy. They want to flirt with you, Pisces. Okay, what else do we have? Sexually compatible. What's up with all this sex stuff? Sexually compatible and all this stuff. The number two could be significant to you. Yeah, it comes with drama. Unsure of desires. So this person, like I said, I think they do have like some type of feelings towards you, Pisces. They do, truth be told. But um, I just don't think they're quite sure of what they want overall just yet, okay? Um, so just allow them to work for it, Pisces, okay? So that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped you. Thank you for tuning in. Talk to you guys soon.